My father forbids me from talking to strangers without his permission. How about we get to know each other then? <laughs> Derwin, you literally are a fucking creep. <laughs> Fucking dude. He just walks into this lady's house and a fucking axe in his hand. Hey, beautiful. Wow, but we get to know each other. You are a fucking creep in the first degree. All right. We are back in Stone Shard. When we last left Derwin, uh, we had a pretty good episode. Um, we uh, went back to the brewery uh, uh, after a number of times trying to uh, defeat the bandits of the brewery, whatever RNG was in our in our favor that day. Uh, we were able to talk to the people at the brewery instead, um, who asked us to help them out and side with them uh, and presented, I, I suppose, a pretty compelling case, all things being considered uh, against Odar. Uh, I say all things being considered because I, the player, have the, the benefit of having seen things that Derwin, the character, may not have seen because we have died a couple of times and restarted, and I'm not exactly sure if he's seen uh, every single thing each time I have to redo stuff. Um, but we've talked to people through some of the playthroughs, through some of the, the restarts, uh, and it seems like Odar um, may be a guy who swooped in in this town's time of need and taken advantage, uh, for his benefit. Um, so, uh, right now we are left with the option of accusing Odar of lying. Now, I'm a little nervous about what that might mean, because I have a, a suspicion that that's gonna, I mean, it kind of has to create a problem in this town. Um, I can't imagine Odar's just gonna be like, whoops, you got me. Anyway, have fun, go, you know, Go mingle with the townsfolk. He's gonna turn the guards against us or something. We've got Varen inside of the bar still, uh, the tavern. He won't say anything different from what he's been saying. He just, you know, keeps having his typical response. Uh, we will have a carriage in like a day or two time. I suppose in theory, I could go talk to the brewery first. I do have my carriage. You know, maybe we'll do that. What I was gonna say is, let's throw caution to the wind and uh, just accuse Ardar of lying and hope for the best. Um, but maybe what we'll do, we'll be a little smart about it. We'll head out and talk to the guy at the Oakenbauer Brewery, see if it's been enough time. It's been an extra day. Uh, off camera, just before I started recording, I took care of uh, all the typical morning chores for Derwin, got him fed and got more water, um, identified, uh, the cloak, the cloak we picked up in an earlier episode, um, which actually turned out to be a really good cloak, um, so we got that fixed up by the tailor, uh, or rather, I think this was already identified. I identified the steady hide boots which we had in the chest in the tavern. Got everything fixed up by the tailor, and now we're pretty well, uh, kitted out, uh, sold all the stuff we picked up, all of the spoils of our prior victory. Um, we may stop here. Nope, there's no hay. Uh, I was contemplating purchasing a bedroll, but they are hella expensive. So one of these guys finally had a bedroll. It was like 400 or $300. So we're going to hold off on that. Uh, what we will do instead uh, is we will head out and see if we can talk to the owner of the Oakenbauer Brewery, who's supposed to give us uh, a carriage and a horse because he said the cost was less than the cost of all this fighting and, and such. So maybe that'll give us the opportunity uh, to get Varen out of there uh, before things turn crazy. Uh, I will stop. Oh, there's ducks. Has there always been ducks in this game? Should we shoot a duck? No, we'll leave the ducks for now. Uh, there should be a bear still over here. We're not going to mess with the bear. We've learned that. We'll skirt close to him. I want to see if he's still there. So we're not going to go too far out of the way. Well, maybe he's gone. All right, maybe the bear's moved on. Good to know. Either way, we're on a mission. Man, I really do love that these things rot slowly over time. The really nice uh, touch. All these, like, little realistic touches in, <laughs> in a game that is uh, somewhat cartoonish. We'll stop and pick up a blessing. We haven't run into anybody yet. Uh, we're playing on the latest update, which hasn't wiped our save, which I'm really happy about uh, thus far. That would have been a bummer if it had, but... Um, one of the things the latest update did was add a bunch of powers to wolves. Um, 
where like they howl and draw in other other animals nearby to fight us uh, and had other abilities that I don't know if we got to see all of them pan out. Uh, how many tiles off are we? We're like, we're like two tiles off. All right, we'll stick to the road. I mean, maybe we've just cleared out so many bandits. <laughs> we've taken them all to task. I think there's more, more remains. All right. All right, we're back. I think he's down here somewhere, so we'll just cut straight down. Yeah, there he is. Let's see. Uh, uh, there you are. What can I help you with? I guess show me your wares? Oh, you do. You, that's right, you sell... Barrels of beer. Interesting. Can we, like, trade caravan this? Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe the only way I have to move the game forward... ...is to, um... ...accuse Odar. Alright! We're gonna do it! We're going. We're gonna throw caution to the wind. We're gonna accuse Odar. Roll those dice. Come what may. It would be nice if they had, um... ...map-based, you know, fast travel, not necessarily what I mean, but like... ...and I, I think I've mentioned it before in this, uh, series. Just like that Kingdom Come Deliverance or like... ...some CRPGs will have the kind of like... ...you click on the map, and an icon of the character makes its way quickly over the map... ...and you have an option, or an opportunity... Uh, to have good and bad things, or nothing happen. Um, love to see something like that come to this game. Though I know that a caravan system is coming, or maybe it's already here and I just have to progress further. Um, but that's supposed to be a major part of this game, like, from the initial announcement, the whole point of this game is to build a caravan of... ...of mercenaries, I think. Was the, was the, um... ...the initial, like, marketing drop of, like, what they're doing. So maybe that'll solve some of this, and this is just part of the early access. All right. Here we go. Oh, hold your horses. Uh, let me shake off the sleep and we'll get to business. Listen, I just saw you step out of the tavern, so I don't want to hear it. Uh, about the brewery, are there any contracts? Anything interesting about the village? Hmm. Might be interesting. To t well, we're not going to take a contract. We're going to... We're gonna, About the brewery. Let's do it. I'm just thinking it would be... Like, we could take a contract, complete the contract, come back, then tell them about the, the brewery. But, we're doing it. We don't want to leave the brewery hanging for too long. Here we go. Well... Oh, here we go. You thought you could pull a fast one on me, huh? What are you talking about? It's a fair deal. You kill the brigands and I... Enough with your games. I've been to the brewery and I know the truth. And what exactly do you know? I know that there were no brigands in the brewery, and that you rub elbows with actual thugs, using them to seize the business for yourself. Who are you to judge me? You're just a mercenary. Uh, and you're to do what you're being paid for. In this case, you're being paid to make sure there's no one left alive in or around that brewery. I'm not obligated to tell you more than you need to know. Okay, yeah, okay. So, two... Option two will mean we'll kill the people at the brewery, but we'll get more money. And this way, I think, is a... I, I think Derwin's an honorable guy. He's been pretty honorable so far. All right, we'll go with one. Let me put it another way. I can get to Bryn even without your cart, and once I'm there, I don't think the Magistrate will be happy to learn that about a village elder running his own gang. Odor opens his mouth to say something, but goes quiet. How much do you want for your silence? Okay, we get 500 crowns, and you can forget about the brewery. I'm a mercenary, not a hired thug. I want you to leave Krom and his brewery alone. I mean, we're honorable, but we're not fucking, like, we need money. Alright, we're going for it. Odar lets out a heavy sigh. Fine, you win. I can pay you this much. Nice. Alright, we got money. Alright, let's leave him here. Inform Varen about the cart. Awesome. Okay, cool. That didn't go as sideways as I expected it to. Huh. Alright, good. I really thought we were gonna get, like, a guard's seat him- seize him. Uh, however... Uh, what is it? J? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Alright. We- we stole a goddamn- I'm never gonna fucking forget that. Oh my god. And they have since patched that problem, uh, in the, uh, with this two-year anniversary patch. Uh, I understand that if you're about to accidentally steal a goddamn bucket, It'll, g <laughs> it'll give you uh, an are you sure about that? Uh, but we lost 140 reputation. Um, all right. So, if stealing a fucking $5 bucket was worse than as much as clearing out an entire 
an entire... <laughs> I can't with this fucking game. An entire outpost of, like, zombies and ghouls. All right. Uh, we're gonna go talk to Varen and tell him to go fuck this place. <laughs> fucking Bryn. All right, so Bryn hates us, but I don't give a shit. All right, Varen. I got us a cart and horses, but there's one small issue. What's the small issue? We'll have to go to the Oaken Barrel Brewery to get it. What the hell? What's it doing there? Why not just hide it deep in the woods while they're at it? It's a long story, and I'm afraid we're no longer welcome in Osbrook. Damn you and your tricks. All right, fuck you, Varen. <laughs> Fine, we have no time to lose. I'll figure it out once I get there. I'll meet you by the brewery. Don't take long. Oh, you can't come with me? <clears throat> All right, farewell, loser. All right, how much, how much money you want to bet that we get fucking jumped? Uh, actually, let's let's grab anything we think we need out of here because I, I imagine they're gonna we're not coming back here ever. All right, how much money you want to bet we get ambushed? on the way to the brewery. Uh, I will just take that from you. That's fine. We can eat that if we need to on the way. Alright, Osbrook. Later, you bunch of damn jerks. <laughs> oh, boy. We're gonna get jumped. It's gonna happen. Odar is not gonna take kindly to our meddling and the problems we've caused, and one of two things is gonna happen. There's gonna be a big old jumping ambush somewhere on the road, or um, the Oaken Barrel Brewery is in flames. <laughs> and his thugs are there like, yeah, you like to mess with things and see how you like it. We killed everybody here and blah, blah, blah. Something like that. And we'll grab this uh, chanterelle. No, 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 not take out. Oh, there we go. Uh, how about this? Boom. How about that? Oh, I missed. That's okay. Because we got a little of this. Nice. Very nice. Uh, do we... Let's get our... Our abilities back. You follow us, friend. Two. Three. Two. One. Bam. Oh, really? We'll wait one. Now we'll get you. There we go. Bleeding like a pig. Nice. Very cool. Uh, I guess we'll head into the front of town. I don't know where he's gonna be. Alright, there's Varen. Alright, let's talk to Varen. You're finally here. I've just been informed about the whole Odar situation. Gotta admit, he's a scumbag of the highest order. Good, I'm glad you're on my side. Uh, I knew something was up with his sudden generosity. You did good. I don't usually say it, but I would make the same choice. A cart and horses just aren't worth the bloodbath. Either way, this wasn't the worst outcome. I also have another task for you. What kind of task? Let me explain. You remember that business with the Abbey, right? So listen, while I was there, I found a body of some poor sod. Among his other belongings, there was an old contract. It promised good money to anyone who got rid of the unholy scum inhabiting the place and lived to tell about it. Well, the monsters are dealt with, and I'm here to share that tale. We should try our luck and claim the reward. Hmm, interesting. The contract isn't exactly fresh, but there's no harm in taking a detour and visiting Manshire. Uh, grab your stuff and let's go. We've already wasted enough time. Anything interesting about Manshire? Uh, that's where the best wine in Aldor used to come from. The council and the magistrates spent a long time fighting over Manshire, desolating the village in the process. But in the end, the magistrates were the one to get a foothold there. All right. Now they spend big money on Manshire. The place has a castle. It's also a strategic location and all that. I heard they even brought some craftsmen from Bryn to fix it up. I bet they're a skillful mu bunch. I bet they're a skillful bunch, and I'm sure there'll be a job for a mercenary in the village. Uh, something for you to do while I'm busy with the caravan. What are you busy with the caravan? What the hell are you talking about? Can you give me oh? <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, I thought he was gonna be like, no, unfortunately, there's no room and you'll have to walk. <laughs> I was gonna be so upset. <laughs> All right, we're going to Manshire. Here we go. I'm ready when you are. I have no unfinished business. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. Here we are. About the contract, who should go get the money? You, of course. Let me see. Had it right here. Ah, there you go. 
It was signed by the Elder, so she, you should talk to him first. Might even get us a second cart out of it. Why do we need a second cart? Dude, what are you with- what, what are you, a caravan fucking needer? Alright. Uh, signed by the Elder, so you should talk to him first. Might even get us a second cart out of it. I have no idea why you're so obsessed with carts and caravans. I feel like we've got this cart. It seems nice enough. Maybe get it fixed up a little. I was nowhere near that abbey. Uh, let's see what he says. I'm curious about what he says about that. Alright. I guess we take it. You weren't. You weren't. Okay, so I said that I was nowhere near that abbey, and he said, You weren't, but it's not like anybody knows that. If people start asking questions, just retell them my story. I don't remember your story. I mean, I played it, but whatever. With my leg like this, the last thing I want to do is walk anywhere. Spent my entire youth running around, not to mention being chased by that damn beast in the chapel. Dude, you literally won't even walk to get a reward? Jeez, man. <laughs> Alright. Take care. Find the Elder of Manshire. We'll start by talking to the guards. What are you staring at? Are there mushrooms growing on me or something? Alright, later. Can I do anything with these? Alright, no reason to be out here. Step inside. Get the lay- This is inside, right? Is this it? Where are we? Is this Manshire? Oh, well, that's gotta be the Elder. Oakenbauer Brewery. Where the hell are we? Oh, wow. Nice. Alright. Uh... Oh, okay, so it's- it's- it's lower than us. Made lower, I guess? I guess we're in the- the top part. Anyway, we'll figure it out. That's gotta be the Elder. Let's talk to this guy. Glad you didn't get angry for me charging past you. Unar. Two times seven, seventeen add two, three carries over- Huh? Who are you? Uh... I'm a mercenary looking for the governor. Right. Mercenary. Weber's upstairs. Uh, now would you kindly stop bothering me? I've already lost count. Where was I? Twelve, add seven, three carries over. Wait, wait, wait. Mercenary, listen. Would you perhaps be interested in buying, uh, books? Treaties? Uh, we have heaps of them here, an actual library. And the faster I sell it all, the better. Yeah, let me have a look. What do you got? Oh my god, these things are so expensive. Alright, well, yeah. Tough stuff, pal. Also, we're a bit hungry, so this is why we brought all our foods. Uh, let's see what this guy's got to say. We'll talk to people. Can you teach me something? Teach you? You aren't even dressed properly, soldier. Where's your surcoat? Although, if you have gold, then so be it. Hand it over and I'll give you a fencing lesson. Oh, beginner lesson in swords. Interesting. There, right, peace. We're going upstairs. Governor's upstairs. Then we'll go check out the town. There you are. Don't you go to sleep. Oh, you... I'm waking you. You don't look like you're around for, from around here. All right, so you're, you're... Are you the governor? Uh, farewell. Whatever, man. Okay, I guess we're going further upstairs. Can I look at that map? I should've looked. All right, I guess we go down and look at the town. We'll find the inn. There's gotta be an inn, right? There's the inn. That's gotta be the inn. Yeah, that's the inn. We'll sleep at the inn. Ah, weary traveler. Welcome, says Selma. Uh... I'm looking for someone. I need to talk to the Elder. Uh, he lives right south of the castle. Uh, there's a dovecote near his house. You won't miss it. Oh, okay. So he's not at the castle. South of the castle, there's a dovecote, whatever that is. All right. I guess we might as well find out where everybody is. Where's the tailor? We don't have one. Oh, screw you. Something fixed or patched up, then Lind, our blacksmith's son, can help you out. Okay, good. Blacksmith's son. Uh, where is the smith? South of the market. Go down the road from the tavern and you'll see it. Okay. Uh, where's the carpenter? You'll find him easily. He lives next to the market behind the chapel. Okay. Where's the herbalist? Old timers say we used to have one, uh, but he didn't leave to see the end of the war. If someone gets sick, we call for our priest. Uh, he knows a thing or two about healing. All right, so there was a chapel. So, where do I find the governor? Oh, he's in the castle. Oh, so that was the governor. I need to find the elder. All right. All right, he's in the castle. Where else? Keep in mind, though, these are turbulent times and he's an important man. Forget about meeting him unless you have business to discuss. Hey. I need to ask something else. I need shelter. Uh, yeah, we'll go two weeks. We'll be here a while. Don't worry about your belongings. Just put them in the chest. Yep, we know. All right. Uh, we'll worry about interesting things uh, after we talk to the Elder. Uh, that must be our house. 
No angry, uh, old man. How sad. Alright, is that a dove coat? I mean, there's the castle. Uh, let's head into the market. Okay, that's clearly where the blacksmith is, so. Let's head into the market, see if we can find some water. And then we'll, uh, once these guys get all set up, we'll go. Oh, there it is. There's the chapel. Alright, here's the town drunk. That's awesome. Uh, we're just gonna walk around the town. Get a good look. Can I go in there? Oh, that's a bummer. Would've been nice if there was, like, an underground place right in here. Oh, I'm not allowed to go in there. Interesting. Old lady feeding chickens. We'll just uncover as much stuff as we can, and then we'll go talk to the elder. What is this? Why do you have a, uh, such a pretty house? Why do you have pretty colors? Hmm. Stable. Yeah, this, is a, this seems like a bigger town overall. I bet you're the herbalist. Who are you again? Well, oh, burned down house. Everybody's got pretty houses here. Oh, look at that. Alright. There's the blacksmith and the blacksmith's son. Another burned down house? Hmm. Whoa, dragonflies. Can you catch them? I guess not. They're moving. They're moving independent of my turn-based movement. Uh, alright, that's gotta be him, right? Greetings, you a mercenary? Yes, how can I help? I'm this village's elder. Name's Nude. Nude? Knud? We'll call him Knud. Nud? Knud. Uh, you don't look like an elder. Hang a flag out, at least. Uh, I'm not one for flamboyance, flags, emblems, embroidered doublets. Uh, it's nothing but vanity. There's no truth in fancy clothes. Makes sense. So yes, I may be an elder, but I'm a simple man. Chopping wood gives me time to think, and I have lots of ideas to ponder. Since I stopped drinking, there's simply no hiding away from them, and every new idea is smarter than the last. So what I'm saying is, there's no truth in wine as well. Pointless drink. Uh, should an elder of a winemaking village be saying this? Uh, why shouldn't I? It's hard to argue with the truth. Uh, not to mention that selling wine is one thing, but drinking it is completely another. It's not my place to judge. If you want to get drunk like a pig, I won't bat an eye. Alright, let's discuss something else. Uh... Alright. Does this play- how- I have something for you. Does this paper look familiar? Knud takes his time to peruse the contract. Ah, it's at least half a year old. Hmm. Ah, the Abbey. What was the problem again? Uh, an entire pack of vampires with a giant beast for a leader? I took them all out. Interesting. Looks like Lotar wasn't imagining things after all. How do I know the Abbey has been cleared out? Uh, send your people there. I can wait. No reason for me to lie. I'll take your word for it, but you see, there's a problem. This contract is long expired, not to mention that it was signed by the previous Elder, so he was the one responsible for your payment. Knud hands the contract back. The previous Elder? Fine, where should I look for him? He, uh, passed away a few months ago. This paper no longer means anything. <laughs> I can think of ways to make you regret that. Is that the gratitude I get for risking my life? Every contract has its expiration date. This one is null, and it wasn't me who signed it. It's only fair. Uh, I mean, I guess we're either threatening him or we're, we're gonna... Uh, Jesus, alright. Fine, I hope you choke on that goal. Any questions? How'd it go? The Elder said the contract is null, apparently was signed too long ago by a different person. Damn, should have expected that. Guess we'll have to pack light for our journey to Bryn. Uh, did the miser give you anything at all? Not a single coin. I managed to get a hundred crowns out of him. No, I didn't. I see. Alright, change of plans. There's no way we can get to Bryn without supplies. We'll need at least a thousand crowns! Gotta buy horse feed, a better harness, and lots of other things. As to, where to find, as to where to find that money, it's up to you. Just don't do anything stupid. The last thing I want is to find myself in a Manshire jail. Very well. I'll bring you the gold. <laughs> uh, since when do mercenaries pay their employers? Doesn't seem right at all. Sharing your observations with the world won't help you earn that money. <laughs> oh, I like you, Varen. Alright. Earn a thousand crowns. Oh, we're close. We're close. Alright, I guess we'll go talk to the governor and get some work. Uh, I bet one of these guys has an easier job. Go talk to this guy. Greetings, and are you a mercenary? Good, very good. I'm Gerlot. Gerlot? I'm Gerlot. I represent local merchants, and I'm a merchant myself. 
obviously. So, do you need anything? Let's not waste time. What are you buying? Well, let's start and see what you're selling. Uh, yeah, let's talk him. Let's chat him up first and then see if we can get on his good side. Hopefully he doesn't put us on his bad side, but let's see. You have a strange accent. I take it you aren't from around here. No, I came here from Bryn. There aren't that many locals in this village anyway. Just Canood, that family of drunkards, and some hag. Oh, she must be the lady on the other side. Uh, I moved here to oversee the deliveries. I make sure my business is in order, and every coin should be accounted for and properly invested. No unnecessary expenses. Bryn, huh? Don't merchants have it easy there? Why did you come to Manshire? It's a long story and not the most pleasant one. Let's not get into it. Sure you don't want to tell me? Why would I? When did we become chummy enough for you, me to tell you anything? Mind your own business, and I'll mind mine. Let's leave it at that. Deal? Deal. All right. <laughs> you have any work for me? I have an urgent task. I need to get two pair of antlers somewhere. Deer and moose ones. Ugh. You see, these things are in great demand in Bryn. The local noble's got a strange idea somewhere that potions made out of these antlers can help with, hmm, strengthening the marriage. <laughs> Recently, I promised one nobleman that I would personally bring him some, but I forgot I was out of stock. If you bring me the antlers, I'll split the payment with you. So what do you say? Deal. Take care. Uh, we're gonna see if anybody, if everybody has any... Nope. Oh. We're gonna check everybody for jobs. Can you tell me anything about these lands? Alright, yeah, let's see what he's gotta say. These lands? Hell if I know anything about them. Haven't left the village since I got here. <laughs> of course. All I know is that it's not safe to wander around. Half a year ago, we got a garrison of 50 soldiers. Now there's barely a dozen. You do the math. So you aren't a local. That's right. Well, aren't you a smart lad? Where are you from? I came from Bryn. Everybody came from Bryn. Uh, only the host knows for how many generations my family lived there. I'm from a line of smiths. My father worked the forge, so did my grandfather and great-grandfather. We passed the trade from father to son. Uh, isn't life in Bryn supposed to be easier? Why'd you leave? Easier? I wouldn't say so. It can be easy for a merchant. However, I'm a smith. Sure, it wouldn't be too bad, but not with those damnable leeches from the guild calling the shots. What guild? Ah. That's what they call the craftsmen of Bryn. Folks that work with their hands. They all do business together in the guild. Carpenters, tailors, masons, and smiths like me. 30 years ago or so, we used to have decent people running things. Folks that weren't strangers to labor and its hardships. And now it's just one clerk after another. All they do is demand some... Regulaments? Uh, and those, uh, protocols. I just want to work honestly instead of filling out some damn forms. Alright. Anyway, back to business. Got any work for me? The Magistrate sure does, uh, well for itself. I'm supposed to forge them weapons while they don't even bother to provide me with enough materials. Do as you will, Dietrich old friend. So I do just that. Anyway, I'm in dire need of iron. Bring me at least five ingots or else I won't have enough to, uh, to finish the current order. Uh, they'll have me flogged for this failure, you know. Just like that. Help me out, will ya? Alright. Five ingots? How the fuck am I gonna get five ingots? Who is this? Frida sobs quietly. What are you selling? Nothing? Sorry to bother you. Alright. I am interested in these stories, but I'm also interested in collecting. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Carpet. I'd like to get jobs under our belts. And get these stories discovered slowly. Although I don't know how long we're going to be here. I might take this right to Bryn, because I think we can take the uh, cart wherever we want. Uh, it seems like I can just walk up to Varen and say, can you give me a ride, and we'll get a ride. Whoa there, new face. Hello. Uh, help you where I can. Uh, so what do you need? I hope it's not another barrel. So sick of those bloody barrels. Uh, you sure are a jolly fellow? How's life around? How's life around here? It's dead boring. It's just wine barrels all day long. I'm sick of it. Uh, is that what people need a car carpenter for? Uh, if I knew it was going to be this way, I'd stay in the docks. When I just moved here, now that was the time. You should have seen Manshire a year ago. A mess of a village, nothing but ruins and weeds. Had to build everything myself with these very hands. Uh, had the lads from the garrison helping out as well. Worked like a fiend for half a year, sunrise to midnight. Was getting so dead tired on some days that I couldn't even remember my name. But here we are. Just look how nice and tidy everything is. Uh, even had my hand in restoring the castle. See those balconies? That's my work. Took me a while to get them right, but I'm happy with the result. 
if, the host forbid, there's a siege, I can guarantee those will hold. And now, uh, what about you? Uh, sometimes there's an order for a shield or a bow. That's the most excitement I get out nowadays. Did you need a shield, perhaps? Uh, alright, so you don't give me jobs. That's fine. But you do have some interesting stuff, but... You got... Everything is expensive. Alright, here's my thought. I think we're gonna go adventure around this area. Let's go see if this is the herbalist. Yeah, I think they were next to the chapel. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Uda coyly glances at you. What's your name, beautiful? My father forbids me from talking to strangers without his permission. How about we get to know each other then? Derwin, you literally are a fucking creep. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this fucking dude. He just walks into this lady's house with a fucking axe in his hand. Hey, beautiful. Wow, well, but we get to know each other. You are a fucking creep in the first degree. Derwin. Uh, Uda throws up her hands in horror. Good. My father will know, and if not him, then others. Our neighbors will tell him in an instant, I'm this and that. Leave, please, before I get in trouble. All right, Darwin, you're a goddamn creep of the highest fucking order. <laughs> he just busts into this girl's house like, hey, beautiful. <laughs> like, I can't talk to strange women. How about I get to know you? Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, let's talk to this guy. He's this is a job giver if I ever so hey, we'll run away. From oh, really? Please, I'm pleased to see not everyone has forgotten about spiritual matters. What are you selling? What is this? Oh, the ether inhaler. Ooh, a surgeon's toolkit. Greatly improves the condition of a selected body part. Uh, we're definitely gonna take your identification scroll. Uh, we'll take both of them, because I might be able to just sell my way to Bryn. I don't know if I'm making a grave mistake here. I might be. But we're so close. We're 400 bucks from getting to Bryn. Where's the tavern? That, like, there's a part of me that's just like, Alright, let's give in the thousand dollars and go right to Bryn. I feel like I can get back here if I have to. <laughs> we shall see. Alright. We got... Oh, no, no, no. Jeez. Boom. This is an armor-piercing war scythe worth $16. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, use. This is a potion of harm. Damages health. We can throw that. Alright. Let's sell this stupid fucking... <laughs> fucking bastards. You sons of bitches. <laughs> Alright. All right, we're going out and venturing. That's what's happening. All right, here's the plan. Uh, we're going to do a little deer hunting. Uh, let's get out here and uncover some more of this. Where's this road that I hear so much about? Right here. Uh, we'll go this way. I'm going to get out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. let's talk to the old hag. Forgot about that. The old woman is busy feeding chickens, paying you no attention. Good day. It's impossible to say if her, by her clouded eyes whether she actually doesn't hear you or just chooses to ignore anything but feeding her chickens. Uh, we'll try one more time. Ah, uh, someone there? Do you need help with anything? There's a spark in her eyes for a split moment. But it fades almost immediately. Help? Me. No, no, no need. I can do everything for myself. Hilda resumes feeding the chickens, losing any interest in you. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe if we raise our reputation here, she'll end up opening up to us. Uh, let's make sure we switch weapons. I should have taken a drink before I left, but whatever. Uh, we will. Let's get out to the middle of this, uh, tile. There should be, uh, a crossroads in the middle. Let's get out to the crossroads, and we'll try to scout all around the town. Ultimately looking for... Oh, nice. Is that a gun? Oh, okay, no, good. That scared me. Uh, ultimately, we will be looking for uh, deer and moose. Oh man, these guys are high level, huh? Oh, I got it. All right, he's done. Uh, we'll step out of the way. He misses. Good. Got him. Uh, we're gonna step closer. We'll try to use that to step even closer. 
We switch. And attack. Beautiful. How we doing? We're doing okay. We're doing very much okay. Alright. Let's, uh, grab all the stuff. Alright, same plan. There should be a crossroads in the middle of this tile. We'll head out to it. There it is. And, uh, let's go north on it. Yeah. Alright, these bandits seem a little tougher. We'll have to be a little careful about that, but... So far, so good. I don't want to have, uh... Let my, uh, hubris get the best of me. Let Derwin's pride goeth before- <clears throat> Oh, god damn it. And we're not- uh, I was hoping I'd get one off, but I didn't- Alright! Oh boy. And we're hungry. Derwin, you are utterly killing me. Hmm. We may have a problem here. Oh, he's done. Good. How we doing? 29. Nice hit, Derwin. Good job. He's dead. Good. Switch weapons. Oh, nice. Derwin, you're doing so- oops. You're doing so good. Ah, uh, we're walking too fast. Uh, we'll take care of you. Hope for the best. Uh, oh, he got me. But that's okay, because we got this awesome- Ah, uh, God. I'm bleeding like a pig. Man, that guy's really doing a number on us. We we'll switch. Get him. We we'll switch back. Whack him. Oh, Derwin. You gotta do this. Good job, Derwin. Alright. Let's eat. Because we're not gonna wait. And let's get all of our arrows back. Uh, we should probably first rest. Get Der Derwin back up to a, a good amount of health. Maybe we take all this back. Yeah, we may have to take all this back. Let's get him up to 100. Oh, Derwin. Alright. Derwin is a big baby who needs a little bit of- whoops. Who needs a little bit of everything. And let's uh, we will head back and sell this stuff. If we run into anybody, so be it. We'll deal with them, but uh, we are out of room. Um, really would love to find some kind of bag. I feel like I could trade my cloak spot for a bag if they existed in the game. I, I, I say that because I swear I've seen them in, like, screenshots. <laughs> Like, the, the bag spot could be replaced, uh, the cloak spot could be replaced with the bag. Uh, let's try the other way. Is there a, there's no, there's a road north. Let's take the north and northern road out of town. And same, same idea. I know there's still weapons we could go out and collect, but they were all cheap garbage, so we'll, um... Oh, I think it stopped raining. Thank you so much. Thank you ever so much. Oops. Uh, same principle. We'll go out. We'll go up another tile. And cut in the middle of the tile. Hmm. Or maybe we'll follow the road. We'll follow the road. See where that takes us. We'll go over one more. Hmm. Yeah, one more. We'll go over one more tile. A lot of dragonflies. Ooh, you guys. My friends. I think you're in trouble. I'm wounded. A deep cut. Frozen in place. We'll focus on him for a second. Actually- Ooh! That's kinda long, huh? Alright. Oh, I got him. And the other guy died. I love it. Oh, Derwin, you're getting so good at this. <laughs> fumble. Who fumbled? Derwin misses. Oh, Derwin. I surrender. Not so fast. Take aim, Derwin. One more try. There it is. Alright. Get our- uh, oh. Oh, you don't look so good, pal. And now, you look so dead. Oh, wow, there's a lot of guys here. Alright, well, he's retreating, so we'll focus on him. 
riddled with arrows. Derwin, you are doing so good. I am so happy about that. Ah, uh, good. Alright. Uh, why don't you take that moment to take a drink? We'll step forward. Have mercy. No. Got us a what guy? A rich guy. Are you an idiot? <laughs> Alright. Good job, Derwin. You've gotten so much better at this. All right, back to the plan. Middle of this tile. No, next tile. Middle of the next tile will cut down, regardless of where the road takes us. Doesn't seem like there's any woods around here, so... Oh, nice. Middle of the next tile will be the next crossroads. What is that? Time. Poppy. Derwin's just out, getting the lay of the land, doing a little exploring. Oh, our immunity's dropping. Time do anything for immunity? Thirst, sanity, nah. I forget what does uh, what for immunity. All right, yeah, we'll take this road. This circles us around nicely. Oop, there's something up here. Try to catch up to whatever it is. We won't be able to, it's so fast. Uh, can we chase it into the next tile? Unlikely. All right, we'll head back down to the road. Man, there's so many dragonflies in Manshire. Don't they hang out near water? Oh. All right, let's be careful. Let's, uh, what is that? Oh, horse. Horse skeleton. Let's skirt the perimeter of this. Just double checking, just looking around. Could be an ambush. There we go. I don't know that that was the ambush, but we'll still take care of him. A deep cut. Derwin, you're doing pretty dang well. Trying to stay away from that guy. Got him nicely. Love it. Yes! Very good. Good hit. Derwin blocks all damage. Not that time. Goon fumbles. Oh, fuck yes, my god. Derwin, you're a beast. All right. Grab this gooseberry shrub. Derwin does love... Does love his berries. All right, there's a gold tooth. That's perfect. This is all we're asking for. A bone foot. There's literally nothing here. It's just a broken... Uh corpse cart. Some type of ancient curse. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, this goes right back into the town. We'll follow this down at least another tile. Oh! And there we go. Let's have some fun. Yeah, you're telling me, pal. Oh. Alright. Take that. Oh, that guy came in fast. Uh. Nice! Good whack. Oh, that was a hard hit. Hit Derwin's right arm. Losing blood. God damn it, Derwin. You are a straight-up psychopath. I love it. Derwin keeps chopping heads. All right, we'll deal with that in a second. All right. We'll go down to where this crosses over. Cross into the next... Oh, shit. Whoops. We'll cross into the next tile right here and cut over. Oh, Derwin, your accuracy is suffering. That's fine. And we miss. That's okay. I'm wounded. Ooh. Nice hit, pal. I'm wounded. Yeah, I don't want to be in too many more fights because I'm out of room to take your stuff. Oh, wow. There's grapes. Derwin's never even thought about grapes before. What? What do these do? Hunger, thirst, immunity. Eat them. Derwin. Love it. Oh, yeah, it's Manshire. Duh. Also, where the hell are we? Oh, the winery at Manshire. All right. We're not going to check that out yet. We're going to sell all this stuff. I don't want to get caught up in anything. I think what we'll probably do is we'll sell this stuff. And I figure when we come back in the next episode, we will, um... 
We'll talk to the governor, see if he's got anything to do. Maybe we'll do like a combo. Um, we'll talk to the governor, see if he's got anything to do. We'll talk to Varen if we have enough money. Right, I think we might have enough money right now. We'll see what happens. Um, but if Varen gives us some kind of uh, some kind of sob story of like, well, you you can't come back, so make sure make sure you're settled up, which sometimes they do in games. Then we will uh, see what we can play out in Manshire before heading to Bryn. All right, let's see. When did I lose so much money? I guess buying all that food? I don't know. Copper chain, we've got the fang amulet. Gold tooth. All right. Uh, looks like we're gonna be here a while. We're already like lower than we started. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna wanna buy that if- Oh, it's even fucking more money here. All right. Probably gonna wanna buy that before I head out. Uh, all right, let's do this. We'll talk to the governor. We'll get that story started. And we'll know what we're doing for sure. Move along. Going in. Shut up. Talk to me. I gotta go talk to the governor. I'm important. I'm an important mercenary. Uh, mercenary looking for work? Figured you might have something for me. Is that so? Fortunately, uh, I don't need any mercenaries right now. All right. You should talk to the elder. I'm sure I'll have a contract or two. If I ever find myself in need of a mercenary, uh, mercenary's help, I'll let you know. All right. Fair enough. I think I can get out from here. I don't know that the Elder's gonna give us any work after the way we fucking talk to him. Shut up with your move along. Whatever with that, pal. Alright. Let's see. It's always a pleasure. Oh, okay, good. Uh, what are you selling? Let's see what he sells first out of the bat. Absolutely nothing. Okay, good to know. Are there any contracts? I only have one contract for the moment. Uh, stolen Grimoire. Interested? Stolen Grimoire. Just the other day, the Magistrate sent us a bounty on the head of Dodos the Bladeproof. A heretic and a necromancer. Of course he's a necromancer. Apparently stole some book from a nobleman in Bryn, so now there's a manhunt. We managed to find where he's hiding at. Uh, the Abandoned Mound. Uh, folks fear he must be plotting something nasty, so there's no time to waste. If you put the villain to death and bring the book back, you'll kill two birds with one stone. Help us out and do the Magistrate a favor. Alright, I'll do it. Good, then it's settled. Give me your map, I'll mark the location. You have five days to deal with it and claim your reward. Take care. Stolen Grimoire. It's very close. And it's only... two skulls. Which so many of these things... Oh really? Were they one skull? I think this thing was two skulls, where we had a really bad problem. <laughs> Alright, well... Well... Oh boy. Ralph and Sons hates us too? Alright, whatever. Whatever! Oh my god. <laughs> All over a bucket. Alright. That'll be a good spot to leave it. We know what we're doing when we come back. When we come back, we will, uh... Try to take the fight to the Stolen Grimoire. We'll hope for the best. It has, uh, two skulls. I don't know that we've dealt with that yet. Um... But, you know, whatever. It'll be what it is. We gotta make a thousand bucks to get, uh... Lazy-ass Varen... <laughs> on his way to Bryn. Uh, and there's no other way to do it than to get him enough money to fix up those horses, or I guess feed the horses and fix up the cart, so. But either way, we'll get into all that when we come back, so subscribe for more Stone Shard, and, uh, we'll be back next time with Derwin's Adventure.